What's going on everybody? This is John Hester here. I'm at Hester's Motorsports in Raton, New Mexico. And today I'm showing a quick tidbit. This is a CF Moto U Force 1000 XL. Um, so same thing applies to the 1000 U Force single bench as well as the dual bench XL crew model. Um, so this is what this is what we're gonna show today. So this customer he already had got our Hester, you know, epic Hester Edition Elka shocks, you know. You can see the Hester Edition right there. So, this has a Hester Edition Elka shocks. Now, it's not so much pertaining to that. But what we're doing is, as you can tell, we have two different sets on here. So, this is a stock set of A-arms, and this is a Super ATV A-arms on the front. So, on a lot of our stuff, we do just, just the front A-arms, because the back A-arms are really good. And they're in a good proportional area, because anyways that's different i'll get to that so on this here one of the main reasons why we do this is because it relocates your wheels forward an inch and a half giving you proper clearance in here to run you know 30 inch tires and stuff now there's a lot of people who say well i can run 30s on my stock a arms well yeah i mean if you have like a bracket lift or whatever and you ride on roads yeah you can put 30s on the stock arms um, the problem of it is, is see, we highly recommend this setup because the Hester Edition Elka shocks are a long travel shock. This shock is a two inch lift and 33% increase more wheel travel over stock. So this wheel is going to come down more and go up more than stock, achieving that extra wheel travel. Now, because of that, this wheel is going to the tire is going to stuff up in here more so this is the reason why we recommend doing the inch and a half offset arms if your goal is 30s shocks you want the arms and uh, hester's motorsports here they can get you great deals on on everything that you need for this now here's the second thing this is another reason why we upgrade to the super atv arms overstock is this customer, I mean, he bought this machine from Hester's Motorsports, had the shocks installed, and you know, it's stock wheels, stock tires, uh, no wheel spacers, you know, just it just added the shocks. And yeah, I've got Super ATV flip shield, Super ATV rear windshield. You know, we this is the old style flip shield versus the new one. I, I've got videos on the new one. So look at the difference of beefiness. This customer tacoed this a-arm just by hitting a little rock just a little rock right there and that sucker just just folded right there look how puny the stock a-arms are this is typical to most manufacturers not just cf moto most manufacturers i mean look at a polaris razor they're like this big you know they're little you know toothpicks you want to upgrade these components more so you know, if you're in the rough, rocky mountains or, you know, rocky conditions and you're in big ruts and stuff like that, is that's going to happen pretty easy. Now, you can see his skid place, there's nothing broken. There's nothing, you know, down, well, except for this one right here. He he actually bent his bumper and everything, <laughs> you know, broke that skid plate. But I'm just saying, down underneath here, you don't see all the impacts and stuff. So, I mean, that was just a typical, t you know, trail rock. It wasn't even... Like he was trying to do some massive rock crawl and it just just happened you know and it bent that back and the wheel just pulled in like that because now this distance is shorter <laughs> on there but this is you know upgrading to a stronger i mean look at the size look at the size so i'm going to show you here's the super atv stock one so here's the stock one and here's the upgraded one and uh, um in the two so stock right here super atv here sorry if i went backwards on that i was uh, sorry they're they were talking up there so i was looking that way while i was pointing down here and talking at the same time <laughs> so um you also have a much bigger heim joint with an adjustment so you can play with your camber you can set camber adjustment where you can't on any of this here um but yeah just massive massive difference you have an inch and a half uh arm versus this tiny little arm uh on there so yeah it's just uh <laughs> just
just a big big difference on on how everything uh sets up there as far as strength i mean you want to improve the um durability of your machine you definitely want to get some super atv arms get you know get with hester's motorsports here in rat tone and they will uh five seven five four four five three five five eight tuesday through saturday and they will get you a really good price um we do we do all that stuff we ship nation nationwide we're real big in all that stuff so you can find us all over <laughs> all over the place and stuff like that uh all over the the interwebs but this is one reason why we say you know we, we highly recommend super atv's arms now the rear arms you know a lot of people well i want the rear arms too well if you're running our shocks the re the rear arms won't fit because of the way the the clearance is is set up all down here the arms will hit the shock down here there is a way that we can do that so if you are i want the super atv arms and the hester edition alka shocks there is a way that we can do that and we can help you with that i don't really like to do it um but we can do it i, I know how to do it and everything but one of the main reasons why big boxed square tube arms on here big reinforcements the stock arms are really good the stock arms on the safe motor are really good um the other thing see your bed is notched for this extra clearance of a tire the problem of it is is when you put the super atv arms it moves it back and then you put 30s you're going to hit up here with 30s it barely grazes right here in the middle under full compression so once that shock fully compresses and you're twisting it and articulating or hitting a big bump, your tire will graze right here. When the with the offset arms, you're going to damage this this right here. So if you don't care about damaging it, or you can just get a heat gun or whatever and and, and remold this, you can do that. So it's it's your machine. You do what you want. But honestly. A vast amount of times, uh, we'll just say, you, you can just go with the front arms. Front arms, shocks, 30s, beast mode um, set up on it. The other nice thing is, you know, I have a lot of people that ask, you know, which one's better, the, the more head arms? Now, the more head arms, I mean, if you're building a mudder and you want the biggest, highest ground clearance, biggest lift, I mean, they're going to max everything out where everything's way down here. It, you know, it puts a lot more stress on the steering rack there's problems you know people having problems with steering racks running the more head arms because of the extreme angle because they're trying to get biggest baddest lift possible to put the biggest baddest tires possible for the most ground clearance they're not going for performance they're not going for trail ride quality or anything like that it's about getting the biggest tires possible underneath your machine so if you're just a mutter it there it's a good setup now the super atv arms you can go these super atv arms are shocks and still be a little bit cheaper you know these are stage ones uh stage is completely up to you i make all five stages on it but you can go with a set of our shocks our high performance long travel suspension and front arms for the price of the more head arms and that's it you know no shocks, no upgrade, no ride quality, no nothing like that. So things to think about. So I have people that, that ask me, what do I think on that? And I'm just like, man, <laughs> you get these bad boys and those for just A-arms. So there you go. Um, things that make you go, hmm. So <laughs> just wanted, wanted to kind of show and and really explain the reason why and this doesn't just pertain to super atv or uh, to uh, cf moto this is on everything we do a lot of a-arm upgrades on uh kawasaki's uh polaris's man i'll tell you i mean like the the rangers the can-am defenders everything i mean can-am defenders have just just really cheap a-arms you know you want to upgrade them um so i'm going to show you another Another one real quick here, and we do a lot of A-arms on, uh, front A-arms on KRXs. Um, so right out here, I'm on the showroom floor, and here's the KRX arms here. So the Super ATV forward arms, we do a lot of those on the KRXs to beef up the front end, 
to have a higher arch, the, high, the higher clearance, and relocate forward an inch and a half to be able to fit 37s on a KRX. And then T-Rexes, I mean, look at that arm. Look at that interceptor. This sucker, <laughs> before the arms and stuff came out, um, there was a lot of people folding these, and they were all back order, and they're just getting any color they can put on it. So they might have had green arms, and they were getting whatever color they could just to be able to get the machine riding. Well, now that Super ATV has the Atlas arms, the Atlas arms are even bigger. So you got a T-Rex, you want some Super ATV arms on there. Now, they don't make the arms for the EX, but they you know, they do have the arms for the Sport model. And um, I know they're working on for the EX, and they are working on for the Sport, but not the Trail. I don't think they're going to do anything on the Trails. They don't really mess that much with 50-inch wide. Um, Kawasaki Mules, I'm going to show you. We do a lot of these now of course this is a 2024 and they don't have the arms made yet but i just want to show you that i mean look at that see even kawasaki with the most legendary build quality <laughs> still uses that that type of stuff there so i just wanted to show you real quick that i don't want somebody to say well that's just cf moto it is every manufacturer that basically as as you can see but yeah, I, like I said, you go look at a player's razor. I mean, those suckers are like toothpicks. I think they're smaller than these. So, <laughs> um, But yeah, so get with Hester's Motorsports here in Ratone, 575-445-3558. Uh, they'll make sure that they get you all the right parts. And, you know, they'll talk to you, um, get all your information, and then get everything on the system, give you a call back and say, okay, this is everything that you need. Here's it all laid out. I mean, if you want you know pdf email to you text to you whatever um we're very detailed so uh we make sure that you know get all that stuff um set up and taken care of for you and get you rolling right the first time so there you go that's why it's real important upgrade those uh control arms to the super atv high clearance arched arms there's so many benefits involved to it um, other than, you know, just relocating the wheels forward. So, uh, you ask yourself this. I mean, if you're hitting rocks and stuff, that's going to end your weekend. That one wouldn't. So, there you go. Not to mention, lifetime warranty. I've had, uh, I've had people just, I mean, fold the, I mean, run into a tree and just about rip these suckers off of the frame. Send a picture to Super ATV, say, A-arm broke or whatever. Lifetime warranty, no questions asked to the original uh, purchaser. Send a picture, bam, they'll get you new arms. Uh, you cannot beat Super ATV's warranty one bit at all. Thanks everybody for watching. If you haven't, hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell. Got lots of stuff happening with the channel. Going to you know show a lot more technical stuff like this. You know, really trying to. Uh, build and do more stuff and, and get this stuff going as you can tell i'm kind of out of breath because i i'm all over the place today's really busy first of the month and <laughs> so i'm like running crazy up there and then chris says hey i got it got it ready to go and um so he's got everything he's got the ball joints loose he's ready to take this thing apart and he's slowly waiting on me so i run back here real quick get this video knocked out get this all taken care of and thank you all for watching god bless and Make sure that you subscribe. Keep up to date. Love you guys.